All right, guys. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different to my normal videos. And uh, no, this ain't something to drink. You know, it looks like a juice or something. It's actually a, a little bit of off-road diesel fuel. And the only reason I'm using diesel is for less fumes. And uh, I figured the red dye in it will uh, show what I'm doing better. But as you know, water in any type of fuel is bad. Some signs and symptoms of water in your fuel is a rough idle or hesitation. And sometimes uh, the engine just won't run right or stall out on you if there's too much water. Water and oil don't mix. Everybody knows that. The uh, water will actually settle to the bottom because the water weighs more than oil. And guess what's on the bottom of your fuel tank in your vehicle or your lawnmower, your pickup tube for your... Uh, going to your carburetor or your fuel pump or injectors and uh, so if there's any water settled at that bottom it's going to get pumped out first and that's why it makes it such a big deal because if the water floated on top it may not ever have, have a problem unless you run the tank all the way down but in our world it's not like that so I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of water in here and we'll uh, see, if it'll, see how long it takes for it to settle to the bottom you can see it already. As soon as I poured it in there, it settled right to the bottom. We'll let that sit and we'll look at it. But uh, this is what uh, makes it so uh, harmful to vehicles and stuff because that it all settled almost instantly. I figured it would take a little while, but it didn't. But uh, it says pure water in the bottom. And I don't recommend doing this experiment. I'm just doing it for you so you don't have to. So now I'm going to take a clear piece of line here to represent a pickup tube on a lawnmower or a, uh, a pickup screen or fuel pump in a vehicle. It's going to sit very close to the bottom. Now you watch this tube. They're just about all water. Because up here, so you're picking up the diesel. But towards the bottom, you're picking up pure water right there at first. That's what makes it so harmful to vehicles. It all settles to the bottom, so you're going to be trying to start with the water, basically. And this is like an experiment that would be done in schools. But you can see it's all the water settled to the bottom. Now, you probably think, well, how are you going to get that out? Now, if it's an extreme amount like this, you could actually siphon it out until you get diesel. But uh, usually... This is an exaggerated example. Usually it's just going to be a few drops sitting on the bottom or like a teaspoon amount in a gas tank, which is still enough to cause a problem because you'll get one little bubble of water floating around in the bottom of the tank until the pickup tube just happens to suck it up. And I don't know how well this is going to work, but we're going to try it. Everybody heard of, heard of heat before. It's a, I call it a, a mixer, is what I call it, because alcohol will basically mix with gasoline or water so you introduce this it's going to mix with both and then it's going to disperse the water that way the water is scattered where it ain't going to just settle to the bottom so we're going to see what happens we might have to shake it up or stir it but we'll see what happens here i ain't never done this i'm not sure what it's going to do but it should help disperse the water. It's usually not for this um, this amount of water. I wasn't expecting it to foam like that. I think where it's such an extreme amount of water in this, it ain't going to do nothing. But Anyway, if you just have a small amount of water in your uh, fuel, that heat will actually disperse all the water in the tank. That way it uh, just be like a little tiny drop being burnt instead of uh, just pure water. But we'll let this settle and we'll look at it here in a little bit. You can kind of get an idea of what it's doing. It's making the water goes towards the top. Now, if you didn't have that much water in it, it would just mix up completely. It wouldn't be doing this. Okay, it's still trying to separate because I got so much water in it. So apparently, you know, there obviously there is a certain threshold. But you can see, you can get an idea of what it will do. See how the, it's trying to disperse everything? 
until it all settles back on the bottom where I got so much water in this. Okay, so I decided to redo it with a little bit more uh, accurate uh, <laughs> amount of uh, water in it. If you look down inside it, you can see the water flowing in the bottom part of it. Just a little tiny bit of water. I was trying to settle out of it right here. That's just a, probably a little capful of a bottle of water went into it. So hopefully with this, we'll be able to get to see how it flows around in there. If you ever look inside a tank on a lawnmower and you see like a bubble of fuel in the bottom of the tank, that's actually water in it. So now I'm going to try to do this again. And with this amount of water, it should uh, do what it's supposed to this time. So I just shook it up to speed the process up. We'll see if anything settles out of it. So far it's staying a more of a pink color, so it should uh, this should be a little more accurate uh, example of what it does. I'm not seeing nothing settling out of it now. It's all mixed up now. That's what it does. It disperses all the water. That way it can actually burn along with the fuel or evaporate along with the fuel. See it's not separating now. This is a more realistic example of what would actually happen if you got a little bit of water or moisture in your gas tank. I'll let this set for a few minutes and we'll look at it again. But even with that little bit of water in there, it still tried to separate some. You noticed I did spill some of it. I'm trying to make a video here. But, uh, but yeah, I say overall it does actually work as far as uh, dispersing the water for the most part. Cause you got to think you know, your fuel is going to be bouncing around in your vehicle anyway, so you know it's not going to be uh, just sitting there like this, in a, at least not for a while until it uh, can actually try to get rid of it after you run the engine for a while. But uh, I say yeah, overall it uh, actually does work, and I just wanted to make this video to show you what why water and fuel is such a bad thing and. And uh, the modern day fuels with ethanol in it, as far as gasoline goes, uh, this is diesel, but as far as gasoline goes, you're putting 10% ethanol in it, and that can actually draw water to it. Any water will settle with that ethanol mixed with it, and you'll have this problem in it. So, But yeah, I just want to make a video talking about water and fuels and give you an example of why it's such a problem. And... Uh, so if you got any questions or comments about uh, water and fuels, leave me a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.